Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. Um, today I want to share with you some tulle and um, organza bows that I've made. Please forgive the noise in the background. We are getting a new roof put on our house um, and I can't help that. So it's going to be here all week. So anyhow, I, I want to share with you what I made and then I will share with you how I made it. Um, this is not a new thing. This has been around forever, but I just wanted to share with you my version of it. So I'm going to start with the lighter bucket for now and pull these out. Just kind of dump them here. Okay. Um, so you can make these out of just about anything and you can make them any size. Here is one that I made out of a uh, gold uh, polka dot tool. Uh, on this one, I just took some of this. Let me, you know what? I could pull some of this out and I probably should have ahead of time, but all is well. It's okay. So I used some of this that a whole bunch of people got at Michael's. I think you can still get it there. And just wrapped it around the middle. And on that one, okay. Um, on this one, let's see this one. Let's see if I can zoom in a little. Make sure it's still, okay, good. And let's see that one. That is this guy here. This I got at Hobby Lobby. And this is a beautiful um, roll of trim. A tool trim with some like I want to say they're almost like gems on there okay and then um, I doubled the tool on that and one of them you can see that I did this open-ended and then on one of them I didn't there, it's closed-ended so there's a couple different ways of doing that that I liked and I just put a little gem in the middle so there's those um, let's see here um, on some of these, these this this one's another one that's open-ended, and um, that one is this kind of tool here. This one is a tool that I got at Michael's, a glitter tool, and um, I didn't put a middle on that one because for some of the ones that are more, um, what's the right word, you know, neutral, I, I left nothing on them so that if I put them on a project or a bag topper or something, then I can, they can be a middle to match. This one's a silver tool. Um, this one is a white mesh kind of thing and I put the pearls around the middle. Uh, this one is another silver tool and this one has the closed ends. And that one I just put a nice little white bling in the middle like a druzy kind of stone. Um, let's see here. This one is a white, very um, thick mesh. So I just layered it twice and then wrapped the middle. Okay, uh, let's see here. Then I've got some pinks again. Let me move some of these out of the way. Okay, some more pinks. Um, this is a pink. Um, I wanna say it's like an organza. And I used one of these um, that I got from the His and Hers collection at Hobby Lobby around the middle. And the thing about this is it's already a gathered fabric. So if you use too much of it, it looks really funny. So I just did that on it. Made a couple of those, which I like how they came out. And then um, here is this cute fabric. It's also a, a organza, and I just wrapped some pearl around the middle. Super fluffy and fun. And then here is some of that mesh kind of fabric, and I used the gold trim, and I wrapped it around the middle and put it on a paper clip. And then here is some of the organza that's super, this, this stuff is super thick. Um, and not super pliable. So um, I could not, when I tried to make it the closed ended bow, it just didn't look right to me for my, my aesthetic. So this is a peachy pink one, um, open ended. Both of them are open ended. One is much more gathered with the pearls around the middle. And then one is um, more open. And you can see the difference in how it looks because this is the same fabric. So. Okay, and then I have some darker colors that I did um, as I'm building my collection of tool and stuff. And let me dump these tigers out. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, so I've got some blues that I did. I love this turquoise blue. It's so pretty, and I put a Michael's gem in the middle. I think I did a couple of those. That's an open-ended one. That's a closed-ended one. I doubled the fabric. That's just a Michael's gem in the middle from one of their big box gems. Um, let's see another. Then I've got some, this is a, fe a mesh one with a gem in the middle. And then let's see here. This is a dark turquoise, one of the, um, that's that stiffer organza. 
and this is a mint organza. Those are very pretty. And then let me pull these out the way, keep those two there so you can see. Um, I got some purple. Here's purple with the pr uh, silver bling around the middle with those cute little balls on it. And then I've got a mesh in purple with a cute little flower on it. Um, this was just a single layer of purple and that's when I decided I'd really like it doubled, but I still think that's cute. And then here we go, another, this one's, um, it's a single layer of purple, but it's more. So I took, instead of a little bit of the fabric, I took much more of the, of the tool. And then here's a big juicy double layered bow in purple. And then, oh, I got one of the white ones stuck in this one. There's a white one. Okay, and then these are, um, the reason I wanted to keep some of the blue and purple out. These are double layered, let me, can I back? No, okay, there we go, though. These are double layered um, bows. This one's, this one open? No. Okay, so these are all double layered bows, and this is using um, a layer of this purple and a layer of this turquoise to make this super, super gorgeous um, purple blue mix. And I love how these came out. It feels so oceany to me, so pretty, so mermaidy. So anyhow, those are the bows I actually made. And I'm just gonna show you real quick how I did some of that. So for like this fabric, it didn't come on a roll. So you just cut the size you want and go to town. Same with the gold. I just keep it rolled and you just cut the size you want and make it. Tool is so easy to use. It, it's really malleable and it works so easy. Um, so let's, let's just grab some of the tool. So what I like to do is grab the length I want. Let me get, adjust this a little bit. Move that out of the way. I guess I can keep one kind of there so you guys can see. So I'm gonna make another one of the purple and blue. So I just like to lay one on top of the other and then give a rough cut of where it is. Mm, I don't want it too big. And you get used to where you want it. Sorry for the noise in the background. It doesn't usually last too long for anyone's sound. It doesn't have to be exact, just how you want it. And then decide if you want to fold it like this. And your bow will be like that. That'll be the width. You can maybe probably make two out of that. Or decide if you want to go like this. Sorry, I'm out of frame here. Let me get those just a wee bit. Or like this. And then your bow will be wide like that. And I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do... Do I want the purple on the outside or the blue? I'm going to do the blue on the outside of this one. So I'm gonna fold it in, and I'm gonna fold it that way. And I don't want my bow quite so fluffy, so I'm gonna take a little bit off. Okay, now what I am using um, for my bows is, just, just so you don't have to use this, but this is what I like to use. This is waxed linen thread. I use it on my journals too. It's overkill for this, but I like it because it tends to stay. And so I just make a little knot at the end of my thread. I like to make it as close to the end as I want because I really don't want much of a tail. Then I'm just going to go to the bottom here. I'm going to go to the bottom with less of an overhang. And I'm going to do that. Okay, like I said, this is a not new. This has been being done forever, but just sharing it on my channel. Okay, so I've made a little loop, gone through, and I'm just going to do a running stitch. I like these extra long needles. My hands get tired easy, so... Okay, go to the end there, pull, okay, there we go, and I'm going to wrap this around once and twice, and then I'm going to go through the middle, being careful not to catch my fingers, and not go through the fabric where I don't want to, okay, and then as that comes around, I'm going to go through there. And not catch the fabric there. And pull. Making sure my second string comes through. There we go. And pull tight. And cut. All right, so I'm going to cut right at the end there. I'm going to cut right at the end there. And then that is my bow. So then now you have a cute little bow. I'm gonna, I would turn it, well, you find the side you like. Um, 
I like to take a paintbrush, the back end of a paintbrush, and put it in there and kind of bunch it so that it's not looking too stiff. Maybe even twist it a little bit. Okay, and it looks funky right now, but it's not gonna stay that way. Then I'm gonna take it on that side and do the same. Twist, 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 twist. I know I'm getting a lot of glitter everywhere, that's okay. All right, so now we have kind of this cute guy right here. Just fluff it, you know, how you like it. Okay. Then I am going to get something for the middle that I like. Okay, I'll be right, right back. I got one of my little boxes of gems and I have many more, but I'm that's what I think I'm gonna pick from today. I have this little piece from the top that I um, have left over from uh, cutting at the top of the tool. And I think I'm gonna try to wrap that around the middle to give it a little bit more of a finished look for this particular one. And it's tool, so it should, uh, when I use hot glue on it, it should go pretty much all the way to the middle. I think that's enough. I wanna pick my front. Hmm. Hmm. hmm, I like that side. Okay, so you know what, that's fine. That's plenty of wrapping. Okay, I am gonna grab my little mat. I got this at the 99 cent store forever ago and I use it all the time. So that's my back. And I am just gonna take some hot glue and put it there. Peachy. And I'm gonna grab this and put it there. And I am gonna just do that and let it dry for a second. Adjust my bow as I go. Make sure I like it. I guess spring, summer is the best time to get a new roof, right? Well, it's not raining. Okay, that should be pretty close to done, almost, almost. Okay, good, good enough for me. All right, so you're gonna see some of the glue on that, but it doesn't bother me, and I can always put like a, um, a felt square or something like that on the back of it so that if I give it away, nobody sees it. So then I'm gonna do that. And I've got a little bit that's poking out right there that I'm not a fan of, and I'm gonna do that. So I am good with that. So that's my bow right now. And see, it's a little bit different than these because I added that middle to it, where you see on these I didn't, I just used the thread. Okay, so let's see about what we are gonna pick. So, I got this box at Michael's and I love this box, it's super deep. Okay, so I have a few gems in here that are super cute. These are some from Michael's. This is cute, but I think I'm gonna go with something more um, like shaped the same as the middle. There's some that are kind of in the purpley family here and I think I like that's pretty cute there. I think I'm gonna go with that. You know, I forever I was just a hoarder of all my stuff because I thought, you know what, if I use it, I'm not gonna have it. What if it doesn't match right? What if it doesn't work right? And then I realized I hoard forever and then I, I don't use it and I'm not having fun, so I'm using it. All right. Okay, so here's our little bow that we just made and, and some of our others. These are some of the ones I made before that I showed you. And that is all I have to share for today. If you have any questions, please put them below or you can email me at scrapbooknut2002 at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.